Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create and automatically mount an encrypted LUX partition. For that I open up the program disks or it is called GNOME disks in the package manager and here we see our partitioning. In my case I want to shrink this partition and create a new encrypted partition in the free space we are getting after the shrink action. If you already have some free disk space for example on another disk you can now skip this part in which we are shrinking our current Linux partition. For shrinking our current Linux partition we need to boot a live USB stick and then shrink it from there because we can't shrink a mounted partition and we can't unmount our root partition. So for that I recommend you to create for example a USB live stick for Linux Mint and just start the USB stick how you installed Linux Mint on your computer. If you have to create a USB live stick you can do this with USB image writer which is very easy. I put you the link to the Linux Mint ISO file into the video description. So I would say let's see us in a moment in which we are at our live system. On our live system we open up not disks but we open up gparted because disks isn't capable of shrinking a partition but gparted is. gparted is already present and at our live system so yeah we can easily grab our Linux Mint partition in here and right click it and select resize move. Now I can select the resizing and I take in my case about 30 gigabytes for my encrypted partition where I store my data and 20 for the system but on a real system I would recommend 100 gigabytes for the system and the rest for your encrypted partition. So in this case this is good. I highly recommend you not to move this partition because this is much more effort for the system so just keep it on the left side and just shrink it on the right side down. And in the end I select resize move then here we have our unallocated disk space. This is enough for us. Um, we could create our partition now in here or we can also create it later in the system. I highly recommend you to do it later on your installed system because then all user rights are already set up and you can write on your partition. So in the end I select apply all operations, select apply and this could take a moment. After this was shrinked that was our action at our live USB stick and um, then we can simply restart again and boot into our regular Linux Mint. So see you in some seconds. So back in our regular system we open up disks again. Here we have it and select our hard disk. Here we see now the free space. Let's create the encrypted partition. I select the free space and select the plus icon here and head over to next. I'm giving the full partition size um, we get from this free space. That's okay for me. I select next and now we can select the type. Here it is mandatory that we check the looks protected volume to encrypt our partition. If you don't want to encrypt this partition just yeah, leave it as, as it is but we want to create a protected volume so this is okay for us. You can also define a volume name if you want but you don't have to. So in this case I just don't do it and select next. Here we can now define a password. It is important that you can't change your password for decrypting your partition later. Also if you lose your password the data which is stored under this encrypted partition is gone. You can't restore it in any case. I tried it for a customer of mine and it would have took about 80 years so yeah we didn't want to wait this long time. So yeah I don't recommend you to lose your password so please be aware of it. If you lose your password then your data is away. I create a password in here with which I can decrypt the partition and select create in the end. Perfect. Now I can type in my password and we are creating the encrypted partition in here which takes a moment. After some seconds this 
is finished and we have a new file system here under a lux partition this is great and now we had to the automatic mount options because we don't want to um, head over into our file manager and to open up the volume by our hand for example if you have some important data your user needs already at the time of login then we have to mount this some kind of automatically that we can type in our password for this partition right at boot time of your system. So I would say let's do this. Unmount the selected partition and select here the gear and select edit mount options. Deactivate user session defaults. I select a mount as a system startup. This is okay. Showing user interface is also okay for me. And it is also very important that you that you ensure that the no fail option is set here. This is good. Now I can select identify as dev mapper lux or lux. And now I can type in another mount point. I select in here data. You can type in any mount point you want on your root file system. For example, also the mount mount point, which was proposed some seconds before is also okay, but I like it personally more if it is completely separate from the mount folder, because in my opinion, the mount folder is for temporary mount points. And um, yeah, this was it for the mount options for the petition itself. I select OK in here, type in my password and then this one is right OK. Now we have to deal with our encryption or decryption of this partition, which is handled by this partition for Lux. And I select the gears in here and select edit encryption options. Here we also uncheck the user session defaults and Instead of no fail, we type in here Lux, just like this, which will give us the option to type in our password at the start of our computer. And if we mistype this three times, the computer also starts through. So these settings are now completely OK. I select OK in here and authenticate us. And now we completed our setup. Just let's close our disks program and select crit in here and select restart. See you in some seconds. And now we are asked for our decryption password for our data partition. So I type in the password for decrypting our partition. I press enter and now our system boots up. And after some seconds, our computer is booted up. And if I head over to files, we can now see here our 33 gigabytes volume, which is in this case the encrypted one or decrypted one in this case. And we can now create some folders in here, paste some files in here. And this is now our encrypted storage. If you want to encrypt your personal folder, I personally recommend you to go to view extra pane and on the right side, select your 33 gigabytes volume. I personally create a new folder which is called like my username, which is in my case Jean. And now I'm selecting all folders I want to encrypt and right click these and select cut. Why don't I also move the desktop folder into here? Because you can't move the desktop folder. So yeah. Just make sure you don't select the desktop folder and select cut in this case, select paste in the other pane in here. And as a last step, we want our folders some kind of back in our personal folder. I hold the control shift key. This one should be selected. And then with the control and shift key pressed, I drag and drop it to the left pane again. And now we have some some links created which are showing to our encrypted partition here. Perfect. If you also are using Firefox, I highly recommend you to encrypt your Firefox folder too. So just move it onto the other side by drag and drop and pressing shift while doing this. And then we are moving this one and by pressing control shift and drag and drop it back again, 
we created a symlink. And this is completely fine. And now our Mozilla folder is also encrypted. It is such easy. And now we are at the end of our tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips in the future. And have fun by encrypting and decrypting your data. See you next time. Bye.